So once I log in, this is the My Service page, Patent, E-Filing, Go to Application. Coming to the fee part, and once the patent is done, this patent is valid for 20 years, which starts with generating the petitions. In today's video, you will get to know in case you have an innovation which you want to patent, how you can do, what is the entire process, where to fill up your application, can you do it on your own, under what circumstances you will have to go with an agent and what are the fee, how long the process will take and how long you can retain your patent. So do watch the video till the end. So even before uh, we start for applying the patent process, one must learn about what can be patented. And for that, you will have to do a research. I'll show you where to find the uh, research material and information. Then this will also help you to determine if you need to hire a patent agent or this is something which you can do on your own and uh, how to request for examination uh, at filing. And once your application process starts, how this will be made available in the public domain. So all this, you know, information you will have to understand. So what can be patented? Something which is new, your invention must be first of its kind anywhere in the world. For example, imagine you create a new kind of a bicycle that nobody ever has seen before. Uh, useful, it has to actually work and have a useful purpose. It's not just a prototype. So uh, picture a special backpack you design that can charge your phone while you walk. This is one example which comes to our mind. Or a, a creative invention which needs to be a fresh idea or an improvement on something that is already exist but not something obvious. Okay, so for example, think of making a toy robot that can backflip, which nobody has made before. And to get patent, your invention must fit into one of these categories. For example, uh, in case of product, like a new type of toy or gadget, for instance, special type of pen that can write on both paper and screen. Okay, or a composition which could be a mixture or blend of a uh, uh, thing which is a special recipe. For example, sports drink that gives you more energy. Uh, or imagine inventing a machine that automatically folds used clothes neatly. I'm just giving you a few, few of the examples. Uh, and it could also be a process. Basically, you have gone through some step-by-step -step process and you think this is unique, not done before and uh, this is something which is a completely new way of doing things, you can go and patent that part. So, basically, you have to be first convinced that this is something unique, what you have done and it has not been done before and then you can do rest of your research. Now, when it comes to research, there is no one method to do research. First one, patents.google.com. All the link will be there in the description for you to go and check. Here you can come and type the product or innovation what you have. For example, I'm writing bicycle here and it will give details of all the patents what's available on internet. Okay, now more refined search you give you will get the detail more precise. So this is one way to check whether your product or innovation is unique or not or if somebody already has done patent with. So the other website is this website. Again, link will be there in the description. Once you come and enter the detail, you get to see how many result and uh, all this detail you can find here. Okay, so this is another website. You also have this website where you can do a search. There are multiple options, basic search, number search, boolean search or advanced search. For example, in the search criteria, once I have entered bicycle and I enter, you see here, 
all the documents what's available here are shown so i can go and find more detail about a particular patent so you will get to know this and once the patent is done this patent is valid for 20 years this is one thing which you must keep in mind if it is related to medical this is the link to the website it will be there in the description again you can go and do your research here there are almost 36 million citation what you can find here which is related to life science any online book um, and all those detail so you can come and do an advanced search clinical queries all those details you will find at this one singular website now if it is related to engineering then you come to this website okay so you can do an advanced search here just like how i showed for the medical so these are the links and uh, all relevant links will be there in the description you can go and check and you must check whenever you're doing your research so when do you need a patent agent or when you have to or you must hire a patent agent this is very important and listen carefully if you are not filing your application and someone other than the inventor is you know doing that filing in that case you must hire a patent agent if you're doing on your own you don't need patent agent now there could be a situation where there are multiple inventors if all of you together are filing the application without any external help you can do on your own if this application is not getting filled jointly by all the inventor in that case you will need to hire a patent agent and then if there is a transfer of application that has been recorded with the office even in that case you will need to hire a patent agent now just don't blindly go and give this to anyone you have to first find if the patent agent is a licensed agent or not and how to find so this is the official website college of patent agents and trademarks agent now once you come here and click here on find a agent this website opens and any agent you're connecting with they will have this id okay if you get their id enter that id and once you enter the id the entire detail will be shown to you whether the license is in good standing or not um, if you can go with them with confidence or not you will get see that or if you find their first name or last name uh, you enter that detail you can go and search okay so take time go over it and see if the agent is licensed and in good standing so this way you have done your groundwork coming to the fee part these are the fee what is shown here application late fee maintenance request for examination advanced examination fee fee for continued examination of application final fee and then a reinstatement fee so once you expand this you get to see what the fee are okay so here for this current year and the next year is only given so every year they will revise and publish for the next year so in 2025 you will get to see what the rates are for 2026 so that way you get to see the application fee late fee then once you come down maintenance fee basically for the second third and fourth anniversary of the filing date you will be paying either this fee or uh, if it is this year or this fee if it is a standard one so we'll get to see all the rates here take time and then go through the fee part of it okay it's a long list so the link will be in the 
description for this. Now coming to the creation of patent application. So once you click here, create your patent application. Again, the link will be in the description. You come to this page where you can log in if you already have a GCK or you're a sign-in partner. So in my case, I already have a GCK with me. Okay, so I will log in with that. In case you have not created GCK, then you watch this video. Uh, it's a separate link where I've shown how to create your GCK and it will take you through the entire process. So for the purpose of this video, I'll skip this. Otherwise, it's going to be too lengthy video and you will lose interest. So once I click on the GCK, I will enter my credential, username and password, which I have. If you don't have, then this is the sign up, which has a separate video where entire process I have shown. So once I log in, this is the my service page, patent, e-filing, go to application. So here the system says that it has detected that this is the first time I'm using this application, which is the case. So before proceeding, uh, this is asking me to check my address and all other details. Once I check that, I come here and click register to enable this application to create a new application process you click here and then you start with the application to not make this video too long i will not go through the entire application process now it's going to take time i'll make a separate video and i'll publish that once i'm done with my meanwhile you can see that for the application these are the mandatory pages which shows this asterisk sign okay application applicant inventor detail and then the fee part and the entire application steps are given here this is the entire application steps which has to be completed one by one which starts with generate the petitions where you select yes or no and then title of invention which you write in 360 maximum characters and then you go with the application process. Since each patent is unique and the requirements are based on what you are patenting, I am not going with the entire application process but I will show you what all details are getting asked in the application and that way you know what information is needed. So each page I am showing in detail to you, you will get to know what information is inside till the last. So friends, I hope you found this video informative. If you have any question, do let me know. Use the comment section and like always, I will definitely come back and respond to all your questions. Thank you.